prepare to get the ground ready for our new garden in 2021, some of what survived from last year is gonna have to go, right? All of this is kale and it survived all through the season last year. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna make way for new growth this year. So. I'm going to pick up all those leaves. Perfect. This one goes over there. And I want you to get a nice firm hold at the base over here. Do you feel that up there? Good. And count of three, we're going to lift this all the way up. And what do you expect to find when you lift it up? White stuff. Oh, don't, don't let it go. Don't let it go. Get your, get your going. Growth. Growth. Roots, right? We expect to see some nice, good roots, okay? So on the count of three, we're going to lift. One, two, three. Ooh, it's got some good roots. Ah. <laughs> big one oh, it's too. a big one. Yep, it's definitely what well, that means. It's a healthy one, right? And we knew that because we could see. Put the put it down, boy. Please put the dirt down. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Whoa! Look at that, Blue. So, I, I would. I wasn't expecting all of this. You wasn't expecting all of this. Well, I want to hold it. Come, well, come over here. Why don't you both start taking the dirt off of that root system and let's talk about it a little bit. Tell me what you see. Uh, and please. Oh my eyes. Let's move the dirt nice and low so we don't get it in our eyes. And tell me what it is that you see as you take the dirt off of there. I see root and. I see and kale. Roots and growth. You see different kinds of roots or the same kinds of roots? Different. Different kinds of roots. Very good. Here, stand up because I don't want that dirt to go in your face, babe. Good. Just use your hands down here. There you go. Yeah, I see different roots, right? Look, these are like long, scraggly, white roots. And this is more hairy and thin. And this one is dark and wobbly right and then up here at the you know at the base of the entire plant we've got this thickness mm -hmm. so if we break that open so we can see what the inside looks like oh beautiful it's, it's white it's moist it's healthy look at how beautiful the inside of the root system looks like for this kale um, yes what do you feel blue it's Still moist. Still moist. And this is the center of the plant. And you can just see as you continue to pry this open how healthy and beautiful this plant really, really was. And it's moister than the other one. Yeah, you can see all that juice. You know, the vascular system of this plant was so full of good nutrition and good nutrients and and we're going to continue to make sure that this area um, has just goodness to continue to sustain good growth for us to eat from this season so this is going to be very exciting so let's finish clearing out all of the old so that we can sow our seeds for the new season who wants to take this out back? Me. Ooh, you're gonna want a glove. Here, boy. Because remember, there's a bunch of old eggs on this, too. So you want both your gloves. Two hands, boy, baby, two hands. Grab it all the way around here on top, too. Beautiful. And throw it all the way in the back. Say bye bye, Kale. Where? All the way in the back. All the way in the back. Where all of the dead leaves go. And say bye bye, Kale. Bye -bye, Kale. That was not the back, that was the middle of my yard. That was blue? Yes. Will you go help your brother? Thank you. And then we'll come back and we'll remove the rest of these, including the lavender, because we're going to plant fresh lavender.
What's tomorrow? First day of... First day of spring. First day of spring. And so what are we doing here? No, um, we're going to plant a garden. We're going to plant our garden. Here we go again. The garden. Mm -hmm. Daddy is drawing up plans right now. And we have some roses. And this time we got some roses. We're going to put some flowers in our garden this year, huh? Mm -hmm. So that's arugula. arugula. And then you had a question about another one of them, didn't you? Yes. It was this one. Mm. What's your question? What does this say? Ooh, that's a great question. Let's read it together. What's that top line? Top word. Mm. What's that sound make? That first letter sound. Mm. 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 And then vegetable. Vegetable. Very good. Vegetable. What's it say below that? Read. Red. 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 Salad. Salad. Bowl. Oh, very good. So we know it's a vegetable. We know that it can go in a red salad bowl. Mm -hmm. So what vegetable do we think? begins with that L and has that presentation's colors, those shapes, that texture. Um, cilantro. Mm, that's such a good guess, man. I sure do love me some cilantro. Where is the cilantro? Mm, where is it? Cilantro! Where am I? Ah, here comes my love. This one is cilantro. And actually begins with the C, even though it has that S sound. And you can see that's an herb. H E R B, herb. Even though you don't hear the H, it's not herb. That's that one of those secret consonants that just go in there for no reason to confuse us. There you go. That's herb. That's herb. Very nice. But this one is not an herb. This is a vegetable. And let's decide what it is. Let's read it. Knock knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Anakin. What are you doing? Let us, Let us in, man! We want Give some fresh that. vegetables! <laughs> what vegetable is it? Lettuce. It is lettuce. <laughs> and we also have uh, a lettuce that is just green. And this one is a butter crunch. Butter yeah. crunch. Butter crunch. Got a couple of different yeah, lettuces. Mm. Go play. Knock, knock. Mm. Lettuce. Let us stop recording so that we can get on to the next video. Um. Well, well, well. Looky, looky. What do we have here? What you up to, girls? And boy. Grassing? Grassing the garden? Yeah, for the last time. Hopefully. <laughs> You're so silly. Learn garden time. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> this is <laughs> this the two thousand. Today we're uh, planting seeds in the garden. Uh, over the weekend I tilled everything, which is on some previous videos, and I have uh, made mounds going down. There's ten on each side, and then well, nine on each side, and one long one in the back. And we have planted vegetables. We got our little grid pattern here with keep track of where everything is. Got some kale. Cabbage and corn all in the back, and chives and tomato and basil. Mm. And this year, which we didn't do last year, but we had a lot of trouble with bugs. So this year we're gonna plant 
flowers. Plant deterrence. We've got sunflowers, which attracts um, ants and aphids. It attracts it or repels it? Attracts. Okay. So we're going to put this in there away from the garden Ooh, okay, and gotcha. then the ants are going to go towards this. Cool. And hopefully. Hopefully. Marigolds okay. repel a bunch of things. Um, I can't remember. This is a lot. This was long. Same with catnip. And they seem to work together from what I've seen. And so we're going to plant these and hopefully not have to go on a bug hunt at all. That'd be really nice. We spent a lot of time down there hunting for aphids and caterpillars and all that stuff. So. It'll be nice to have the flowers to pull double duty because they're insect repellent. But Alicia loves flowers. That little flower girl has been wanting flowers. And I definitely wanted to include a flower garden in the garden, vegetable garden this year. So, yay! Um, there's other ones that, other plants that would attract and kill bugs as well, but they're also harmful to animals and small children. Mm -hmm. And they're poisons for food, so you don't want to plant them near your in your vegetable garden. These the catnip it, the catnip you can eat as a herb. And then the marigolds are look how thanks. We're gonna plant them in different spots out the garden. Please don't let us cross that barrier or we're turning into catnip people that are out here just eating on the catnip. <laughs> I don't think it's like that. <laughs> I thought it was an herb, you could just come out here and eat it, but I don't even want catnip in my, you know, it just it's sounds a, like, a, you know, it's, it's like I got like, cat food in my, in my garden. You know? It's an herb like basil's an herb. And it's thyme and cilantro. I don't want to put the, the catnip in my there. food either, you know. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't even want to cross that barrier. It's minty, lemony mintness to every catnip tea. It's called catnip, y'all. <laughs> I don't want that. Well, that's a nickname for it. I don't remember what the real name is for it, but it does have another name. Hey, hey, hey. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Stable. We're gonna plant our tomato plants here and let them bind through to stabilize. And then we're gonna plant tomato and basil together because it allows the the flavor from the basil will come through in the tomato and they're really if you haven't tried basil tomato, they're delicious. Mm hmm I remember smelling the the basil just coming through the tomato when they were growing together it was so fragrant it was kind of freaky you don't yeah expect that. yeah now that we expect it it may we may not it may not hit us the same this year but last year it was completely unexpected we didn't know what we were in for so it was it was like a comic book bam over your head like what <laughs> that shit is amazing it smells so good Yes, that's a way of life now. That's a way of planting. I'm gonna plant about a tell you how deep the plant is. It's about a quarter inch. And also, this year I made more pads bigger so we can actually sit down and. Everything in moderation. The basil seeds. Mm. Peanut tiny. Tomato. And then we get our little tomato seeds. They're a little bigger than the basil. Come on. And that's why I put these ones on the bottom. Because these are going to grow deeper than the basil plant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll put these down first. You said deep. <laughs> Basil seeds. There's two of them right next to each other.
it softly spoken with no strings tying you to me I'm happy in your company with no emotion cause my love deserves to be free I never wanna look at a house in the garden